Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into an interesting and significant topic that's currently making waves in Malaysian politics. As election season is underway, the spotlight has turned towards Singapore and its Malay community as a potential election issue. A Perikata national candidate, Mohamed Farid Mohamed Zawawi, is vying for a state seat in Kelantan, Malaysia. During a public speaking event on August 1st, he made some thought-provoking remarks that have garnered attention and sparked debates. Farid warned voters that not choosing him might lead to becoming like the Malays in Singapore or southern Thailand's Patani region. According to reports, he claimed that Malays in Singapore are facing challenges with their cultural identity and are increasingly identifying as Singaporeans rather than Malays. It's worth noting that the Perikatan National Coalition, of which Farid's party Bersetu is a part, is in an alliance with the Malaysian Islamic Party, PAS, and several others. The coalition has been active in campaigning and advocating for their vision for Malaysia's future. Using Singapore as a comparison in Malaysian politics is not new. In the past, politicians have raised concerns about the influence of non-Muslim and minority parties, particularly the Democratic Action Party, DAP and have drawn parallels with Singapore's political landscape. These comparisons often highlight issues related to identity, race, and representation, and they can be polarizing in nature. Contrastingly, Singapore's then-finance minister Lawrence Wong has warned against allowing tribalism and identity politics to take root in Singapore. He emphasized the importance of embracing the founding ethos of the nation, where every Singaporean is considered an integral part of society, regardless of their background, status, or cultural identity. As Malaysians head to the polls, it is essential to remember the significance of promoting inclusivity and unity within the nation. Election campaigns should be based on policies, ideas, and the well-being of the citizens, rather than focusing on divisive narratives. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on this issue. What are your thoughts on the use of Singapore as an election issue in Malaysia? Do you believe that identity-based politics should be avoided, and inclusivity should be encouraged? Share your opinions in the comments section below. If you found this content insightful and thought-provoking, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Your support keeps us motivated to continue bringing you quality content. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, take care and stay informed.